In this day and age, people tend to gravitate towards the same popular travel spots. But what happens when you move away from that path and you go to spots where you least expect to have these amazing adventures? Phoebe here from Little Grey Box. Now, as you can tell, Matt and I are in beautiful Outback Queensland. We have just touched down in Longreach because we are doing a few amazing days with the guys from Outback Aussie Tours, and we are so excited. have just checked in to our accommodation here at Saltbush Retreat in Longreach and I am feeling it you guys. They have gone in on the country Queensland theme and it is incredible. The rooms are so rustic and well thought out. All the fittings are beautiful. Even the sink basins are lovely. Every single detail. Flying up here is one great option to get up here. You can also catch the overnight train which sounds like a whole lot of fun too. But if you don't have 24 hours to spend on the train, flying up here is a great way to do it. What do you think Longreach offers people you can't get anywhere else in the world? It's the outback. It's it's uh, it's it's Aussie. It's larrikinism. It's it's yes. uh, quirkiness. It's really uh, relaxed. So have you heard of the Whit Sundays? So that's all that's left of a huge volcanic province that covered the eastern part of Australia. So my wife and I live in town um, and we come out here to do the tours and help with any of the um, ongoing uh, maintenance. So we just did a tour inside the Camden Homestead and something that Outback Dan said just really struck a chord with me. He said their family motto is treat people well and fortune will follow and I just think that's such a good attitude to life and you can just see that in Dan. So we're going to make the most of it right now. We're going to go and have some sunset drinks and something to snack on I believe. We're at the historic Well Shot Hotel and this is so much fun. The beers are cold inside. There are some really fun games to be playing, throwing money at the roof. <laughs> what did they tell you? Unexpected adventures. This is incredible. So the money on the roof goes to the museum across the road. On the other side, in the <laughs> other bar, it goes to Angel Flight. Let's throw some money on the ceiling, eh? <laughs> 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 This was the day the Airbag Romeos went against with most of the set. Hard to beat up Alpha. Top old big red. Yeah. <laughs> it is day two. We have just woken up, and first things first, I need some coffee and I need some food. So you're probably dying to know what is the coffee like in Longreach. I'm about to find out. First sip. No, it's actually... Ah! <laughs> it's really good! <laughs> Quick wing tour, there's the plane, there's the wing. Here's me. That's all you need to know. On the wing. <laughs> Tom's just given us this amazing guided tour of the Qantas Founders Museum. And I was wondering how you got the bug. How did you get into everything planned? I was born that way. <laughs> Good answer. Well, my wife says I was born in aviation tragic. Yes. And as far as I can recall, that's the way it's been. I'm one of the sad people who takes aircraft manuals home to read for fun. It's not sad, it's amazing. <laughs> it's good to have a passion, right? <laughs> There are a lot of stories in there, a lot of local stories and a lot of just 
quintessentially Queensland Australian stories. Yes, yeah, yeah. Why do you think those stories are so important? Why do they need to be told? There's always been an affinity, whether you're from the city or whether you're from the coast, with the Australian bush. I mean, there's yeah, that, you know, true. that romance. They can get a sense of that. Yes. Uh, then they can walk out and they can see this massive sky and the windmill mm. and the wind and the heat and the rain and all of those things that come along with it. So it's, it's part of a bigger story. Life in the bush, you know, it's got a terrific future. So we are halfway through our river cruise and this is amazing. I did not think of this when I thought of Longreach and I am just having the best time. Smithy knows so much, the beers are cold, the snacks are delicious and the sunset is beautiful. What more could you want? It's just so unexpectedly amazing out here. Why don't we just see, see what's going on here? Just if you look at the chandelier, oh, here we go. I'll tell you the story. Swept it for a high like Sam Bumpler. Thank you very much. Tell us about Ollie. He's a Brahmin. He's uh, come over here, mate. He's got a little tiny splash of shower there in him. So uh, but he's, he's predominantly Brahmin. It's a real connection to the land out here, isn't it? It's like a respect for the land that sustains you, isn't it? It is. It is in many ways. Mm. Um, maybe sometimes it's more noticeable mm. owner operators if you live on it. Yeah. Kent. 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 and sometimes you forget to use them. And another lovely thing is without words you can you can tell each other how you are out here. Mm. You know, in the car it's just a, a simple wave, a thumbs up. No, it's not what you know. It's, it's not who you know, it's what you know of who you know. Oh, oh my That's, That is groundbreaking. Oh, Hold them to ransom. <laughs> I saw you topless in the Thompson River yesterday. <laughs> there are so many things that make Long Reach special. It's an amazing sense of community where everybody knows everyone and with the likes of Smithy and Dan from Outback Aussie Tours you get right into the community. I mean we are leaving feeling like we're friends you know. I feel so much more grounded, I haven't had any anxiety since I've been here, I feel so calm and I more than that I feel like I want to be a better person you know. I'm looking at these people going like, I want to emulate that. I want to emula emulate those those values and those you know country qualities that I love seeing these people. So I'm coming away from this. I've learned a lot. I've met some amazing people who I'll be friends with for life. And I don't know. It makes me feel like I want to be a better person. And that's not something you get everywhere. It's definitely not a selfish travel experience. It's an enriching travel experience. And that is something really special. And that is why it is so important to always look out for those unexpected adventures and not just go to the same places as everybody else. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now if you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say good day in the comments below. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Love ya.